Hi there, my name is Henry and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine data using relationships in Tableau. This is useful because it will allow you to dynamically examine and analyze data across multiple tables rather than just being limited to one. So let's jump into Tableau and get started. We can see here I'm connected to the Bookshop dataset, which is available from Tableau and I've left a link down in the description for anyone to follow along. We can see here that the bookshop is made up of uh, a number of tables, and we can use these tables together to build charts in Tableau. To do so, we're going to need to drag on uh, information from the book table. We can immediately see here down in the data preview we have information in this table about the book ID, the title of the book, and the author ID. So to set up a relationship between the book table and the author table, we're going to drag author onto the canvas, and you'll notice that noodle. This noodle is a representation of the relationship. So if you let go of your left click, drop author onto the canvas, you can see now in the data preview we have information only uh, from the author table. And you can see we have the field author ID, which we know we have in the book table. And we need to click back onto book to be able to see it in the data preview. And click on author to see the author table. And this can give you a clue as to what is happening when we use a relationship. So a relationship is like a contract that Tableau is keeping in mind so that when you bring uh, these fields from these separate tables into the view, it knows exactly how to relate the data across these tables to give you the things that you want to see in your view. But we have to define the terms of this relationship. And so Tableau usually does this for us automatically, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to define these relationships. So if you click on your noodle, we can see down here where we can set up the terms of the relationship. And what we want to do is find a common field across both tables that we can use to link the tables on. So we know from examining these tables that author ID is common to book and author. So we want to select this common field across both tables. And that is how you set up a relationship. You'll notice here that we have some performance options but these really are only useful if you have very, very large data sets and you want to improve the performance. Tableau has left these as their default options, and this will work best in almost all cases. So only, only change these if you know exactly the levels of cardinality and referential integrity, and you fully understand what they mean and what implications changing these settings will have for your data. So there you have it. That's how you create a relationship in Tableau. But why stop at one? We can create multiple relationships. So we're going to bring on information about the uh, addition table here. We're going to drop it into the view and see that we can create a, another relationship here. Tableau has done it for us automatically again, linking across book ID. Something to be aware of, if you drop edition next to author, you'll see this warning sign here, and that's because Tableau can't find the linking field across these two tables, and that's because there isn't one in this data set. So just something to be aware of. Tableau won't always do it for you. Sometimes it will throw up that error, and it just lets you know that there's no field that links across the tables. So we'll drop edition back next to book there, and we'll finish this video having set up these relationships in Tableau. I hope you now feel more confident in setting up and understanding relationships in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. Tableau Tim has some fantastic videos explaining the Tableau data model, which was introduced in version 2020.2. If you enjoyed this video and want to see how to combine data using joins in Tableau, then click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch the next video in this series. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when we release new videos.